Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again in Ark Survival Evolved here on a Pooping Evolved server. That's right, we are back, and I am ready today. We are gonna be taking on the challenge. I've got a whole bunch of stuff working in here. As you can see, we got the uh, the forge going, so I've got tons of metal cooking up. Every day I log on, I just go and I get a little bit of metal, and I've been doing that. I've actually been using a lot of it too, so I, I haven't... Uh, I haven't gathered a huge stockpile either, but I'm, you know, trying to get charcoal and just all kinds of good stuff. Uh, finally set up a bookshelf in here. Let's actually access the bookshelf for all the blueprints that we're getting. So I've gotten, you know, ramshackle this, ramshackle that, uh, primitive that, ramshackle this. I mean, nothing, nothing crazy yet. Uh, but I am saving our blueprints for uh, a rainy day if we need them. Uh, I am actually considering starting to make some metal walls. I don't know if I want to go metal right away, um, especially for our personal base. I'm probably just going to stick to stone for that. But in this area where we are, we are probably going to need metal. Just because of the, the gigas that can spawn around here, the alphas... I mean, most of them get taken out by this wall, but as you can see, this wall is deteriorating um, kind of quickly over time, especially in some parts more than others, as you can see. Like that spot, that spot is really taking a beating, but, you know, some of these other spots, not so much. So, you know, we have opportunity. Ow. Uh, we have opportunities uh, for improvement, and so we might get into some metal um, but I'm just I'm trying to get a good stockpile of metal uh, before I start building because I don't want to build half of a structure now and then half of a structure later and yada 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 so uh, I am cooking up the rest of that metal I have made up some spark powder I took my Anki out this morning and made up some spark powder that way I could you know basically do whatever I need to do now that I'm close to rocks and stuff every day uh, I can fill this thing up with spark powder if I want to uh, and I can also go ahead and put the rest of it over here inside of this now I do uh, today I don't know if we'll get to it today or not today we're actually gonna go and try and get an RG uh, I do want to learn the shields here I don't know that we'll make one today but I do want to learn them just while we're looking uh, through all the ingram points and everything but stone stone is going to be important for us uh, you know we are going to have to get into that here pretty soon um, we've learned metal spike walls we've learned a lot of this stuff honestly uh, but I I've got the fireplace that is important there's the metal shield the metal sword that I'm a fan of and then uh, yeah we'll get into beer brewing here soon as well I think um but I've learned the fabricator. I wanted to learn the industrial grill, which I've done. That'll be important. And I also want to learn the industrial cooker. Um, we'll learn some of that stuff, too. I don't know. Are we even to the point of the industrial cooker? Am I just missing it? Nope. Level 80 is the industrial cooker. I actually want to get into dyes and stuff here pretty quick. Um... So that way I can start to make some cool stuff, uh, but dyes are tedious, to say the least. And I do have some pretty decent plans for that stuff, so uh, I do want to get into making a large amount of them. You guys, if you watched last season at all, you've seen the amount of stuff that I made, or amount of dyes that I made on a normal everyday basis. And uh, just really enjoy having them... And uh, just being able to do whatever we want. And I have some, some RP aspects of the game that I'd like to get into this season again. And uh, they are going to require some dies. So I uh, might see some, some special characters come in and join us. And uh, I, I always have a lot of fun doing stuff like that. So what we're going to be doing today in this moment as I'm just constantly running around we are going to be working on getting an Argentavis. Now, I know that I talked about not getting an Argentavis last episode for uh, for the first half of the episode, but, you know, honestly, what we need an Argentavis for is almost... It, it's it's We need it to be able to, to tame and to be able to get stuff and uh, carry it back. Like, having an RG would make it to where I could go and gather metal so much easier... 
and uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna disband with the uh, ground dinos. Those are going to be our primary source of transportation. I guarantee you. Uh, we just I want to get one um, sooner rather than later here as, as well. So we have got a ton of chitin. That should clear up that guy's inventory a little bit. We've got a ton of chitin just from running the cave the past couple days and, uh, you know, having some fun with that. But if you guys uh, end up liking this video today, please hit that like button. It helps me out a lot getting my videos found and discovered and uh, just, you know, whatever. Uh, but uh, I have uh, I, my patrons. Well, I don't know if I said, told you guys this last episode. My patrons and su Twitch subs uh, and supporters have uh, we've opened up another server for them it's Valhalla I'm gonna be doing some other uh, videos on that server here pretty soon so I'm looking forward to that uh, and yeah so if you guys uh, like the scrap mechanic stuff I talked about that last episode and uh, had a lot of fun with that game and it was it's it's still a blast and having some great fun with it but uh, I need to check something here real quick and as soon as I find an Argentavis that's a decent level we're gonna take to the skies and uh, try and tame it so I decided that I would go ahead and head over to the North Island ouch uh, excuse me, I don't want to be here with the sharks coming out. Am I swimming faster than dolphins and sharks? Wow. Okay. Uh, that's a little crazy. I'm sure they're not sprinting. I don't think wild dinos can sprint. Uh, but that is... Uh, that's a little... Oh, that is a beautiful looking shark. Holy cow. Yeah, that is a real beauty of a looking shark. So I figured I would head on over here to the North Island and try and tame something up over here. Uh, maybe a little easier. I know there's a better concentration of stuff. There's areas of the map that are a lot more open than uh, what uh, is uh, behind us in 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 the, in the hills over there, uh, because you know that can just get really tough. And there's a red drop over there, so I don't see any RGs yet. Let's see if uh, we can head over and try and get that red drop before it disappears. No idea how much time is left on it. But we should be able to get there. Stay out of the trees. I'll show you guys on camera what this red drop entails. Hopefully it's something good. I wouldn't mind a new pike. I would not mind a new pike at all. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff over here too, isn't there? Oh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. But we should be able to get up in here before getting attacked. Let's take this rock out right here. And a metal pipe into irrigation uh, cross section. Oh. That was not as good as I had hoped. I just jumped off that rock. Oh, there's a raptor. Hi. Uh, but uh, metal irrigation cross-section, not as good as I had hoped. But, you know, not that bad either. So um, we've got some some stuff around. And uh, so I want to head over kind of away from this main section of the map. Get up a little higher. And if we can get up a little higher, then we can probably get a good idea of where uh, something good is. So right up here, there's a couple of Carnotauruses. But this is a good little spot to try and get up. Let's see, maybe I could try up here. This cat also, not just uh, a water cat, but also likes to climb. That is just starting to come down. Alright, so there are an absolute buttload of RGs. That one's only level 16. That's a T-Rex. Are any of those down there in good shape? 76 is looking kind of beat up. We gotta kind of see what survives here. I don't think many of the Argentavises are gonna survive that, so that's a little unfortunate. But alright, I'm gonna keep looking around, and if I find a good one, we will be right back to try and go after it. 
All right, guys, I have cleared out the majority of the Argentavises down there. Uh, I cleared out the 8 and the 36, so I'm going to try and go for the 76, try and get it to follow us here. Come on, you want to follow us? I know you do. Come on. Yeah, there you go. All right, now, follow me, Senor Argentavis. Follow me, Senor Argentavis, and we shall get you. Oh, so passive. Oh, oh! I thought it. Well, I thought it went down right away. All right. So, someone told me about a circling method that I uh, I've never tried before. It actually seems seems to be pretty decent. Oh, come on, come back. We'll let it. We'll let it cycle back. Uh, defend yourself. All right, now passive. Wait, where are you? Come back. Come back, little liger. Neutral. Defend yourself. Fight them. Okay, so he is going to probably do just fine. Um, actually, I don't know if he is or not. Yeah, he's doing all right. Am I just unable to kill this one? Nope. Ah, ha, ha. All right, all right. So we knocked this RG out, which is beautiful. I can't believe we were able to do that. Uh, you are need to be on passive. Uh, food unconscious. Okay. So, I'm going to wait. I'm going to go get some Prime. Because I don't think I have... Yeah, got a little bit. So, let's uh, let's drop this right here. And I'll drop some of this regular meat as well. Meat, meat, meat. Can I get this one? No. Okay. So only two pieces of prime for now, but uh, we we shall be okay. I'm I'm thinking we'll be just fine as far as this is concerned, and we'll just have to uh, go get some more. So I'll bring you guys back. This one's level seventy. What level are you? Seventy six. So I'm I'm assuming it'll tame out at about a hundred. So uh, yeah, it should be a pretty decent bird. All right, guys, any second now, our female Argentavis is going to stand up, and I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Yes, we got our Argentavis. Now, I, you guys know that I'm a superhero fan, and I am going to go with uh, Scarlet Witch on this name. Scarlet Witch is, uh, is one of the... She was in the Avengers, uh, but she's actually super powerful uh, in the comic books as well, so... Scarlet Witch. I actually believe that I have enough of the materials to make the saddle for the Argentavis. Let's go ahead and gamma back a little bit here. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to kind of have... I'm, I'm pretty excited to have an Argentavis. Like, it, it's, it's been... It's been a while. Um, I, I'm excited. I like to, you know, venture the ground and everything. But having an RG is going to be nice. It's going to be real nice. So, what we can do now is uh, we can head back to base and uh, we can drop off Liger and then we can pick up, uh, not really pick up anything, just kind of fly around a minute and look at our surroundings and uh, maybe even pick out a spot to actually build our base, like our, our full-on base and uh, just kind of get a bird's eye view of everything going on. I'm actually really excited about this. I know I said I wasn't going to do an RG. But uh, I already, like, feel, like, 100% better now that I do have one. Because, like, last night, I would have at least had one dung beetle uh, instead of losing both of them. Because I, I would have made it all the way back. Um, so, you know, that's that's a little unfortunate. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, we're going we're gonna to head back and, uh, yeah, see what else we can find. All right. So, here we are dropping off Liger. Oh, man, I am... I'll tell you what, guys. Oh, ouch. 
As much as I hate to admit it, I am happy that we have an RG. Now let's take a look at the stats of our RG. Uh, it has 469 weight, which I'm really excited about. We're going to clean up its inventory here in a second, too. And along with my inventory, because holy mackerel, this thing is a mess. Uh, but uh, 469 weight, it's got 2,000 health, 2,000 stamina. Uh, awesome. Melee damage of 185 and movement speed of 100. Uh, so, yeah, that's, you know, it's not the greatest. Uh, but uh, for, for what it is, for a starter... Scarlet Witch is going to serve us well, I do believe. So I don't think we need the majority of this meat. So I'm actually going to drop that. And then I'm actually going to drop all of this stuff as well. Uh, because we won't need that either. So I'm going to come in here and I'll actually drop off some of my other stuff. Uh, that we have in here. Just drop off all of that. Let's get those arrows back. Actually, these we can go in the, the chest over there. We'll put those away. Uh, we're going to... Put that, uh, actually just throw that away, throw that away. And we'll give uh, Scarlet Witch some glasses as well. So put up our stuff in our bookcase. Uh, any any duplicates? Oh, yep, that's a duplicate. Let's go ahead and throw that down on the ground. And food, awesome. Metal, awesome. Not much left in there, actually. So, all right, Scarlet Witch, you're going to get some glasses. I know it's probably you're 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 beautiful. I promise you're beautiful. So now we have dropped a good decent amount of weight. Uh, I've got my parachutes just in case you know we have any problems. But uh, now I can fly up to the top of this mountain and get some crystal, which I am really excited about because there are a couple things that I wanted to make that I didn't have enough crystal and I honestly didn't want to try and uh, get up here to the top of the mountain you know I, I thought that that would be kind of like a, a major uh, major pain in the booty uh, to do that so let's keep going here let's get all the way up and we have made it to the top of the mountain oh we're getting attacked by another RG oh oh it's a fight it's a major fight it's our first fight with Scarlet Witch. Come on, get away a little bit and head back. Man, I got to turn down my uh, my bloom quality and light shafts. I know this is all bloom quality, but as much as I love the way that it looks, it is, uh, is kind of hard to see in situations like this. It's like, it's super bright, like super bright. All right, what level are you? Holy mackerel. 28. Oh, I guess we don't have much in the way of melee damage. So that is a fair, fair assumption. Turn again. Turn back. Come on. Oh, you're bloody. Like, you're, you're looking badly injured there we go we got it and we got our first level oh yes now on this bird i'm probably gonna primarily pump weight uh maybe a little bit of stamina maybe a little bit of speed but weight is definitely gonna be the uh the main focal point of this uh of scarlet witch here scarlet witch was powerful but uh, i think that we need a utility bird at this point so I'm going to grab some crystal here, and then uh, I'm probably going to head back down the mountain, and then we'll we'll do a little fly around with you guys. All right, guys, after getting myself a decent amount of metal and uh, everything from the top of the mountain, which I am so happy to have, uh, I am um, flying around here a little bit, and I was kind of looking, and it, it really, honestly, I feel like the flattest area that I could possibly build is back there where my house is currently because uh, everything else is like extremely steep. And so I might have to just tear down my house and I don't think I can build on these rocks. I don't think they're technically structures or, uh, you know, ground. I think they're, uh, I don't know what they are really considered, but well, that's a blue dodic. That's cool. And this spot right here is fairly flat and it's close to the top, but then I don't know. I feel like that's like prime Giga country. I'm not really sure. I haven't seen too many Gigas over here yet, but that doesn't mean they're not here. 
We have seen them in other parts of the map, so there might be a limitation or something like that. But, uh, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. So, um, like I said, I'm excited to have my RG. I am definitely not going to make it a primary mode of transportation. Uh, it is going to, it's, it's a weight bird. I've already, all my levels I've pumped so far have been into weight. I'm up to 554 or 544. And, uh, so it's, uh, it's not bad. So being able to go around and get metal and stuff, and I'll even be able to troll blood and, uh, and Garrett as well. So that'll be really cool too. But yeah, I think this spot over here that we are already on is probably the flattest spot on the mountain. So, uh, we'll probably, I don't know. I, I might start tearing down, deconstructing and, uh, start uh, rebuilding, uh, in a little more of a, a structured way. So, but for now, guys, my name is Drax. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Ark Survival Evolved here on the Pooping Evolved server. If you liked the video, please hit that like button and uh, subscribe for more daily videos. I'll see you guys next time. Say bye, Scarlet Witch. Bye-bye.